What if I told you the future of programming isn't about writing code, but vibing with it? Means simply talking to AI in plain English to accomplish your job. That's exactly what AI legend Anrich Karpati revealed in one of his most mind-blowing videos. He called this approach vibe coding, where instead of writing traditional code, you just describe what you want in natural language, and AI builds the entire application for you. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend checking it out. He didn't just talk about how programming is changing, but also demonstrated how software itself is evolving. I've linked it in the description. He didn't just explain these concepts; he showed them with a live project built using this exact approach. And yes, it's already working. Wondering what vibe coding looks like in practice? In one of my recent videos, I built an entire website in just 15 minutes using this exact approach. That's linked below too. But today we're taking it even further. If you're new here, welcome to Genii Learniverse, where we go beyond tutorials. In my 50 plus Genii project series, every build solves a real world problem. These aren't just coding exercises; they're blueprints for real launchable products. If you're an entrepreneur or aspire to be or even someone who wants to showcase their gen AI practical skills in their resume, these projects lay the foundation for building actual businesses. And today in project 18 we're recreating Karpati's concept with our own powerful twist. We're building an AI menu visual generator that transforms boring text only restaurant menus into stunning scroll stopping visuals, complete with AI generated food photography and nutritional insights. Think about this. Restaurants typically spend fifty to two hundred dollars per dish on professional photography, plus five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars on menu design. For twenty dishes, that's fifteen hundred dollars to six thousand dollars just for a single menu. Our AI tool it'll do all of that in minutes, not days or weeks. We'll be using the latest Gen AI models, the same tech-powering, cutting-edge ChatGPT features, to build a production-ready app that delivers real business value. So whether you're a restaurant owner, an AI builder, a person who is in the restaurant and unable to figure out how the dish looks like or someone just excited by what's possible with today's tools this video is for you first of all i'm going to walk you through the complete architecture and code behind our 18th project the ai menu visual generator let's break down how it works as we have done in some of our previous project we built this app using streamlit a lightweight python web framework that's perfect for ai prototypes and dashboards When the user opens the app, the first thing they see is a prompt to enter their OpenAI API key, which unlocks all the Gen AI magic inside. Once authenticated, the user uploads a photo of their restaurant menu. This could be a scanned copy, a printed menu, or even a handwritten list. We read the image, convert it to Base64, and send it to GPT-40 Vision, asking it to extract dish name, description if any, price, category like appetizer. mains etc the output is structured json which forms the foundation of our visual menu for each dish we perform two parallel tasks nutrition analysis we send the dish name and cuisine type to gpt40 mini asking it to estimate calories protein carbs fat and fiber image generation we pass a highly detailed food photography prompt to gpt image 1 choosing from different visual styles like rustic professional minimalist or vibrant Now that we have everything, menu structure, food images and nutritional data, we generate a visual interface in Streamlit. Each dish appears with its image, name, price and optionally its nutrition and description. And finally, users can download individual food photos or a text-based menu summary report. Okay, so let me first open PyCharm. I'll right click and open it as administrator. Okay? So as I have been doing in my previous projects, I'll creating I'll create a new file, so new Python file, and I'll give it a name as AI Menu Generator. I'll press Enter. Now let me paste the code. I already have written the code, so let me explain that how it works. So I'll start from the top, and then we'll explain that how uh, everything works in this project. And any point in time, if you are going through the code and in, if you have any queries. just let me know in the comment section and i'll try to uh, respond as soon as possible so first we have imported all the required libraries as we have been doing in our previous projects right so that's what we are doing here we are just setting some of the page configuration when we are just setting the page title what is the layout and also have set the icon okay so after what we are kind of as i have shown in the demo we are first requesting user to input the um open ai key right 
So for that, this is the section wherein we are, we are just asking user to input the OpenAI key, right? Till the time you will not enter, users will not enter the OpenAI key, the application will not work, okay? So afterward, we are just initiating the client. So we are just um, passing the API key input, whatever user has passed from the top, right? And then, so that will initiate the client. The client is something that will be utilizing for all the functionality, be it generating the test, generating the text, reading the menu, or kind of, you know, generating the image uh, from that menu, right? Okay, so as I have explained in the architecture, we first extract the um, menu item, right? So whatever images that user uploads, we, we need to first read that image and try to extract all the information that we have in that menu, right? So to do that, what we are doing is we are first converting our uh, image file, whatever user has uploaded to base64 because we need to pass base64 details to, uh, to our model, right? And then here um, we have we have used chat GPT 4.0 and then we are saying that role we have provided a user and what we are saying in the content section we are saying that please extract all menu item from this image and organize them in a structured format. For each item extract item name, description, price, category. These are some of the things that I am extracting. If you want to extract some additional details you can go ahead and change this prompt right and the model will respond to you accordingly. And then I am asking it to format it in the structure in this structure right so um this is what i have uh, given uh, i have instructed the model to uh, to uh, you know provide the output in this format and then i have also added if you can't determine the category group similar items together be as accurate as uh, possible with the text extraction right this is what we have given and then type is image url and then whatever base 64 image that we extracted we are passing that inside this particular thing right this is the format that we need to pass the uh, base 64 image right so this is how the first function looks like afterward we will be getting the menu text so whatever response we are getting we are get just getting the menu text and afterward we are just cleaning the response to make it the correct uh, json right and ultimately this function returns menu data that contains all those information in json format and it um, it extract all this information and then also provide us the detail in this format right so this is how the first function looks like if i'll talk about the second function when we are kind of getting the nutritional information so again we are using chat gpt 40 mini wherein we are kind of we already have provided the content for that cuisine type, so this function requests, uh, requires two input, dish name and cuisine type. So what I'm asking is for this cuisine type and dish name, provide estimate nutritional information in JSON format, right? So what all information I'm asking? I'm asking to provide the uh, information in this format, right? If, again, if you want to change anything, if you want to remove something, you want to add something, you can go ahead and change this uh, prompt, right? Base your estimate on typical restaurant portion and ingredients for this type of dish be realistic with the value so this is the prompt that i have and again this uh, model respond uh, th this model provides us the nutrition in, uh, text whatever uh, you know output we are getting from this prompt and the way and the way we did it in our uh, previous function we are kind of cleaning the uh, output and try to find out the correct json format and also returning that json format right the next next uh, function so two things are done right as i've explained in the architecture we first need to extract the image data right all the menu item that we have in that menu that user uploaded then the two parallel tasks um, happens afterward right first is we provide that information to our, one of our models to identify the this nutritional information right and second, at the same time, we are also providing that information to our uh, to another model to generate the image, right? So there is another function that we call it as generate food image, wherein we have dish name, description, cuisine type, and image style. I also have shown, right? These are some of the image style that the user can select, right? Professional food photography, restrict home style. All these uh, there are four uh, options that I have given to the users, wherein they can select these styles, and the images will be generated in that style. Against each style, I have given some uh, information, right? How it should be look like, right? How the lightning should be, background should be, composition should be, quality should be, right? Uh, again, uh, for, for the previous function, like the pre previous functions, you can change if you want to change something, right? And then um, we are kind of getting the style configuration. This is just about if, you, if we do not have the style selected by the user, it will by default select this pro pro professional food photography, right? And then 
Uh, what I'm trying to do is um, food prompt. This is the prompt that we have given professional food photography of dish name and cuisine type, right? Dish detail. I have also added the details, photography specification, these details, whatever we have got based on whatever style user has selected. And then we also have provided the technical requirement high resolution, commercial food photography quality, right? Perfect focus and uh, sharp detail. So, all these things we have uh, added in the prompt, right? And then we are passing that to our um, chat GPT, GPT image one model. We have given the size as this and quality as high. And ultimately it will uh, uh, give us the final image, right? And that, that image we are kind of uh, returning from this particular function, right? So these, these are three major functions that we have used. And afterward, we just have the UI part, wherein we have given the option for to users to upload the file. Then we are kind of, after uploading the file, we are extracting the data, we are calling different functions. Like for example, we are calling the function to extract menu. We are displaying that menu. Then there is a button icon that we are using to extract the, you know, to, uh, to submit the details that will call two different functions. First one is kind of for getting the nutritional details. Second one is for uh, image generation. I'm not explaining these uh, details um, because that will make the video uh, long. But as I mentioned, if you have any questions, if something is not clear, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to respond, uh, respond to your question as soon as possible. Okay, now let's try to run the code to see whether it is working fine or not. So I'll just enter the command streamlet run AI menu generator. I'll press enter and this will open the page. Seems like it is working fine. So now I'll enter the key and then I it is it will ask me to upload the image. So let me upload a small image because it takes some time. So we have our image uploaded. I'll click on extract menu and ideally it should extract all these details, right? I have, I have just, um, you know, use this short menu, but you can use any kind of image, right? So it says that total item three. And as you can see, it has extracted all those details along with the price. If you'll see the price 13.95, 16.95, all these details are extracted, right? So now again, as I have shown, it is kind of giving me the option to select the um, style. So maybe I'll just select uh, vibrant color. And then I'll uh, sh uh, click show description. I'll keep like nutritional details. I'll keep it as checked and I'll click on generate uh, a visual menu. So it will take some time uh, because every time it sends the detail to uh, both the models to generate the nutri nutritional information as well as generating the image. So in our case, it, there are three items. It will send three different requests to these images. Right. Ultimately, uh, once done, we should have uh, our, you know, images generated along with the nutritional information. So let's see how it works. OK, so and the processing is complete. So now, as you can see, it has generated all the images. Again, the price and everything remains same, whatever we have got from that menu. Right. And then uh, it also allows you to, you know, download the individual image as well as you know, um, and download the menu report, right? So as you can see this along with this beautiful images that it generated, right? It also have provided us the nutritional information, correct? So this is an amazing project. Try it at your end and let me know how it worked. And in case of any queries, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you.